All right, welcome everyone. We are Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for JoJo's, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Part 4, Four Episode 10. 10. All right. Yukako has been defeated. <laughs> Yukako still loves Koichi, though. <laughs> she does, but at least she realizes that kidnapping is not the way to his heart. Um, but she's probably still going to be a weird stalker girl. <laughs> We'll but not necessarily see. the yandere physical stalker girl. Right. Kind of the like, hey, Koichi, I made you lunch. Would you like to eat with me? And he's like, yeah, sure. Yeah. And you might eat if I eat with my friends too. <laughs> and, right. and she's just like, sure, yeah. yeah. But I really don't uh, want her to like overtake yeah, the story no, I, too I think much. I think that was their way of basically saying she's still going to be in the story. But she's kind of out of the story. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Um, I think it would be really cool to see some more creative stand users. Yeah. I think their choice of having Yukako being another person like Koichi who just recently got their stand, so doesn't even that know what great. a stand mm-hmm. is, it's pretty cool. Um, yep. The lightning person, maybe sometime soon, maybe not, who knows? Yeah, I'm going to stop basically even trying to guess when yeah. they're going to bring you know that person in mm-hmm. and instead have it be more of a thing of guessing whether or not there's going to be more school antics. I am all for that. School antics, and then maybe if they wanted to bring back Bad Company, but, you know, (laughs) but the school antics is probably all I'm going to get. Yeah, I am also curious to see how Jotaro is going to be involved, um, since he's been kind of in the background background. for a lot Uh, of things recently. Yep. So, yeah, without further ado, y'all, let's get into this. Oh, blade. Blades. uh. Or no, sharpening a blade. Is this going to be tied to the... Um, oh, oh, a butcher? Uh, maybe the, the disembodied hand at the beginning of the first episode? Uh, Although those that seems like an animal. Yeah. I think it's a butcher. Yeah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, Bad company might get mentioned this episode. Italian joint. Okay. Oh no, this is the cannibalism episode uh, kind yeah. of thing where like he's taking bodies maybe out of the cemetery and like chopping them up to Hopefully be not. That used would as be sausages gross. and stuff. It's probably just like dogs or something. Depends on the customer. Oh. Oh, that's gross. That's gross. People come in. And they get served, basically, as... Uh-huh. Because... Uh, yep, this is a stand user. This is a stand user. Well, definitely. Tonyo <laughs> Torasardi. <laughs> Have we seen him in the opening? I don't think so, maybe? Hmm. I like how his Japanese is very like mechanical, like he's not comfortable with the language. <sighs> I was just talking at that restaurant Jake, about how menus are a thing in the past. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we use menus? <laughs> 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 Oh! What? <laughs> oh my gosh! Home reader? Oh! oh. That's incredible! Mmm. Mmm. What? Mineral water. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. All right. Oh, yes. <laughs> This is amazing, yes. Ah! Wait. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Uh... 
Alright, he did drink the same water. What the heck? What if they fought a stand user that they didn't actually need to fight? Right. Where it was actually just a bunch of crazy stuff happening. Sure. <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, alright. Cappuccino des. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That looks amazing. Whoa! Indeed, indeed. Alright. It is merely pride. I love Okiyasu in the background. Oh! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that looks so good. Have it with the tomatoes. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yep. In this episode, Onizuka goes and has a food, uh, tasting. Oh, you know what this is? Ah! <laughs> you know what this is, Jacob? What? He's serving them legitimately good food so that when he kills them to, like, use them as foodstuffs oh. and things, they've been filled with the right kind sure. of things. And they'll taste good, yeah. They'll taste better, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, now they're just telling us, basically. He's got that aura. Oh, bro! Oh! Oh! I was getting hungry with all that good looking food, but now. Uh, ugh. Oh my gosh. That's. Please, no. No. Oh, that's gross. That's so gross. Oh. <laughs> Nice! But that was gross. Yeah. Wait, why is he taking that? Yeah, he's gonna put that in the... Ew, ew, ew. Josuke, what have you noticed? Because something's really wrong with this guy. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> oh. オッケー。忙しい勝負が適当に言ったらうまかったというのがこの名の起源らしい。赤唐辛子が入ってんすか? Huh? <laughs> it's pretty weak with hot sauces. Damn <laughs> <laughs> 
私のスパゲティは辛いのが苦手な人でもあ。ああ。See, I think it's when he says those things. Maybe. Yeah. Something about it changes. はい。What the heck? Oh! You know what? This actually might be. He's a, actually a wholesome stand user who's just trying to make the town a better place. Maybe, yeah. And now he's gonna reconstitute it. Yeah, yeah, to what、oh, it was made see what's of. What's in there? Yep. Nice. Oh. Oh, there it is. So he tests out the food on the dog. So the stand is basically fixing them in some ways, like Josuke. Ah! <laughs> ちょっと
What is his Although powers, it's, though? It's still the trope, though, of the don't trust the food in anime. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. You know what they just set up? The bar, the uh, the the, the, yeah, the yeah, place yeah. that the heroes will go and just yeah. just hang wait, out at. That's only they, wait. Is that just half the episode? The episode. What? Okay. What? All this right. This show is so so crazy. Main plot twist. Yes. Speedwagon Foundation. Who's I? Joseph, maybe? Oh my god! Yes, that it's gonna be, be Joseph! Wonderful! Look, it's Joseph! Yes! 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 <laughs> oh yeah! Oh okay, yeah, that was way past halfway. Alright. <laughs> okay, okay. But oh. Joseph is Woo! coming back! What, wow. a, what a weird wow. episode! This episode. That was bizarre! Oh, I I just I don't even know what is, wow. I'm glad they eventually had that happen though, where there wasn't a problem with the standard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know when you, you and I get to you Ooh, I want you, I don't know if I need you But ooh, I die to find out Ooh, I want you, I don't know if I need you But ooh, I would die to find out Ah. Grazie, Jojo! Wow. Grazie, wow. Araki! This episode was Grazie. so gross So gross and so, so awesome and wonderful and hilarious. So and ridiculous. So ridiculous. Like, cause, cause here's the thing. It wasn't that like, cause okay, JoJo's has had gross stuff, but not when like they're tantalizing us with this amazing looking food that probably tastes amazing. Yeah. And then suddenly yeah. they have a okay, yeah, so to start. <laughs> oh. That was so nasty. And like the idea that we're thinking this stuff might be in the food, like oh. Oh no! And, then, and no. then he like actually like showed the dog just yeah barfing up its own intestines uh -huh. and exploding. Yeah. It was like oh no, no. gross! No. And no. it's like oh no, Dennis I'm actually food. wanting to make sure that you all have a wonderful experience with my food. And I'm like, yeah, okay. And and then at the yeah. end. He was actually a wholesome cook guy yeah, who that's... just wanted to make, you know, some people have a yep. little bit of a better time in their but, lives. And it's just like, oh, okay. that was gross. That was so gross. Uh, <sighs> I think I was fine with most everything. Um, up till the. <sighs> up till the scraping of the skin. Yeah, the... <laughs> like I have, I have, you know, I think. I mean, I've had that happen, like, not that to that degree, but, like, you know, where, like, you get sunburned really badly, you know? Okay, well, that's, yeah, that's not what this was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What I'm talking about was actually the thing that was going to be a little bit, like, I thought it would be a little bit grosser, was the teeth. Um, oh, uh-huh. One of the most common nightmares that people experience all across time, cultures, everything, is teeth falling out. Because it's just like, it's just something you, you're like, no, don't, please, uh, teeth don't fall out yeah. for whatever reason. And um, just having his jaw like, <laughs> you know, doing uh -huh. all that. And that actually didn't end up bothering me as much. It was the uh, the skin, because it was tearing so deep. And then uh, the uh, the dog. Right. Because, that was like, And, and no! it was on brand, too, because it's like, here's a dog. A rock is like, oh, I'm going to do yeah. it again. Oh, <laughs> Oh boy. Oh man. I loved Josuke though deconstructing the pasta and separating it into its ingredients. Yes, that was actually like that was awesome. That was Fantastic. Great. And the yeah. stand it has a power that we still don't 
fully understand. R- right. It just can cure ailments of people by... Yeah. Well, so so here's the thing I think what it might be. Mm-hmm. is What I think it might be is that the stand gives him knowledge about biological elements. Right. Because that's what he said. When his Hence, hands... When yeah. he looked at people's hands, he could identify the things right. with them. So what yep. I think he was doing was he was basically utilizing his own stand's ability within himself and basically going, oh, yeah, you have issues with this, this, and this. And so when his stands go into the food, they can not only grant him the perception of understanding but the, the food, ability to, but the ability to yeah. alter it in some way. So basically, he looked at Okuyasu and he said, you are already fed. <laughs> <laughs> like that because you know it's like i know right. that was basically some i know the pressure points to blah blah blah, blah right blah, you know but um, in food <laughs> but in food so yeah. iraqi yeah. well well done on making a, an episode that just completely defies all expectations yep, because he's set up such a pattern it's like yep. you know what i'm gonna do something different and i i love him for it because yeah. This was a stand encounter a stand of the week kind of thing where they didn't actually need to fight where they didn't fight yeah nope Nope. Yep. Sand user just, I got this ability, but mm-hmm. it didn't change what I wanted. I've always wanted this in life. It's like, I've just wanted to make people's lives better by being a great cook. Give them good food and you know, uh, enjoy that you know feedback, that, that pleasure of them experiencing that good food. But still, like, and I'm like, okay, all right, sure. But I have to know, is this a plot from something else? Because this seems know. so specific. <laughs> it's so like... Like, yeah, but oh man, like my skin is still crawling, and 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 I don't see myself see, as Jacob, I've got as, an itch over here. Yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. I don't think of myself as being squeamish, but the thing is, okay, here here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Mozzarella and tomatoes. That is actually one of my favorite things ever. They're at uh, bruschetta. Yeah, well, bruschetta, but also um, at the place where we first, me and Caleb first worked. Eventually, oh, they ended. They yeah. they they, they, yeah. they did this. It was like this, you know, little cafe and like ice cream and candy and stuff like that. But yeah. they ended up making these homemade, uh, like baguette sandwiches that were really good. Really, the good. best one was actually surprisingly the, good. And and the best one was the vegetarian one, which pesto, was was uh, pesto, mozzarella, mozzarella and sun dried tomatoes. Yeah. On a, on and those three ingredients on a real good baguette. So I, good. Oh, I I had so many of those things. Like I love the whole. Like once he said, you know, mozzarella and and tomatoes, and then you know he tried the and Okiyasu tried the mozzarella, and he's like, ah, this seems kind of. I'm like, no, 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 you need to have it with the tomatoes. And yeah. He said that, and I was like, yes, thank you. Um, and then it went from that to, oh, ah, <laughs> no, like I I want uh. to keep that memory of how good mozzarella <laughs> fresh mozzarella and tomatoes can taste like a pure thing in my mind and now i'm worried that whenever i like have that i will think of a soft ball's worth of dead skin getting like oh no no i actually That's wonder just... how much of this is araki thinking about how much he's learned over the course of his life with regards to taking care of his own body now, oh, uh, gotcha. I thought you were going to say of individual like viewers and how they want different things. Or well, something, no, but. like how Araki has probably gotten rather wealthy based because mm-hmm. of JoJo's, and so he's you know taken a lot of care to himself. That's how he's the vampire. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, doing things like hey, like you know, take care of your skin, y'all. Take care of your mm-hmm. teeth. Take care of your food, like. Eat good nutrition and all this yeah. stuff and things like that. Now, this is a fine dining experience he's giving them there uh-huh. for for the most part. I mean, it's Italian, so it's it's nothing absolutely crazy. But oh, like, hey I mean, <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have not had a good. Or, it's just because we actually went to Olive Garden recently. No, it has so. actually nothing to do with that. <laughs> nothing so just like Italian. Nothing mm. to do with that. The best fine dining experiences I've had. Italian was a place where they. It was like this is a, this is fine dining Italian. I'm like oh, okay, and it was just okay. It oh, was just uh-huh. okay. Like I I had their I had their favorite dish. The 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 chef's like most proud uh-huh. dish, and I was just like. 
okay, I guess I'm not cut out for Italian. So, <laughs> all right. But like, no, there's so many other like oh, yeah. things and stuff. Oh, there like that, the like, Brazilian steakhouse. Well, that's not like fine dining, but yeah, that was that was a. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So Just carving meat onto your. So yeah, I would, I would love to have the the kind of the chef experience kind of thing mm -hmm. there, but um, I, I I love that this seems like Araki was wanting to educate the viewers. Yes. And it reminded me a lot of uh, part three with them traveling mm -hmm. around yep. the world and yep. getting a little bit of education on certain things like that. And yeah. I was like, that's that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, there were actual parts or frames of the episode where it's like we would have had to pause. And like, look at the ingredients and stuff mm -hmm. to actually be able to get everything yeah. on there because there's so much text. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's just not what I would have expected in this random kind of episodic episode. So, I, I'm just yeah. still so grossed out because like that was something <laughs> okay, where because I'm watching this and I'm like, yes, food montage, awesome. <laughs> And it's like making me hungry and be like, I, I want to go get something to eat. And then, then that happened. And, uh, oh, oh, right, right. It's not going away. Yeah, it's okay. But, uh, yeah, it'll go away eventually. eventually. So, uh, big, big plot thing. Guess who's back? Joseph. Back again. Joseph is Joseph's back. back. Oh. Hello, Fred. I, Joseph's yes, back. Yes. Joseph's back. We Joseph's have. Joseph's back. Well, He's wait. Back. Hold on. How many? No, we don't actually. Wait. What? We don't actually have three generate. Wait. Do we have three generations of Joe stars? No. Yes. Maybe. No. What? What? Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Let's. Okay. Are no. you confused because, <laughs> because Josuke, Josuke is Joe Turo's uncle? So, so we have th three generations. Yes. Yes. Be right. Yes. Yes. Exact Wait. Yes. 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 All right. Right. I I'm like, yeah. why is this confusing uh, to you? <laughs> is the question is simple. Because Joe's case. Is Jotaro jo 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 is Jotaro jo Joseph's son? The answer no. is no. Right. Is Josuke Joseph's son? Yes. yes. Right. Then yeah. there you go. You yeah, have three generations. Yeah, yeah, three generations. <laughs> but like, uh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be so great. Like, I yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Yeah, Joseph being back. Uh, begs the question about like what happened to him like is he immortal like, well, uh, like who knows I mean he did seem like hunched over and older and stuff yeah but, he had a cane that's but true I, <laughs> I want to see Joseph reunite with Josuke's mama huh? um, because that would be absolutely amazing <laughs> uh, like uh, and then and then Jotaro's just like yada yada does it no oh my god and maybe Josuke gets really embarrassed and he's like what you're my dad I mean he must know that he's an old mogul you know like, right right uh -huh. so. but still you know actually seeing it but him coming back uh, here is he doing this specifically to kind of touch base with Jotaro is it to basically start the you know it's a good question. Uh, connection process with Josuke. Use Hermit Purple to help them find the, the arrow. You know? That's possible. I mean... That's actually very possible. That makes a lot of sense. That makes way too much sense. Yeah, that's probably why he's coming back. Yeah. Tactical powers. He's just like... Jotaro's like, hey, you know, Grandpa. I'm calling in the big guy. I kind of need you to come here and give us some clairvoyant information. He's like, okay. More yep. spirit photos? Sounds good. I'll just Let's use do this. I'll use my secret technique of running away from uh, the wifey <laughs> to go to the mistress. Oh, yes. Anything to have some uh, me time. <laughs> Your next line will be, Joseph, you got <laughs> sexier and sexier. <laughs> Joseph's in bed. Your next line will be, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean, I okay, if she ends up saying your next line will be to Joseph, that would be absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, overall, I love that, like, this episode basically was primarily just to introduce a Morio or Morio landmark. Yep. Mm -hmm. And... It is now like the hub that they can go to yeah. to just go have Italian food and chill and hang out. And mm -hmm. I, I love that because now that a stand user is there and he's just doing his own life. He's yep. not mm -hmm. 
He's not trying That's to right. harm anyone. Yeah. All the th all the signs of he's next to a cemetery. He's all alone. He's chopping weird meats and intestines are falling out. It's like, oh, this is this is bad. This is one of oh. those bad places. Uh. Rock is just like, nah, this is gonna be a regular guy. And what was his name? Like, uh I can't remember. Yeah, oh. it was a very Italian name. Right. All I can say is Iraqi betrayed a trust. <laughs> Anime food montages are they're safe. <laughs> they're they're happy. It's where the irrational budget like spending exactly. was used upon. And they're not where you need oh. to showcase. <laughs> oh. oh man. Now I know that dead skin is one of your um... No, it's just that he was freaking clawing it off of himself. Yeah, yeah, that's like, true. It, oh. I love how it, for both of us it was that. It wasn't the teeth. It wasn't mm -hmm. really as much even. The dog it went was from something so delicious to something so gross. Yeah, like, that's true. It wasn't just that they showed something gross. If they did that and that mm -hmm. was it, okay. But my mouth was watering, <laughs> and then that <laughs> happened. Like, but but Okiyasu, like uh, like he was he was hilarious he was. this episode. Just describing in every detail that he could. <laughs> it's like relating the, it in metaphors. The princess and that. <laughs> I can't even remember. Just trying to just use other things to describe uh -huh. what he was what he was feeling. And, it reminded me uh, of Dio being like, uh, "You will," uh, <laughs> like, I mean, those type of comparisons have been made in JoJo since the very. beginning. Oh, I know, so. but but Dio's were like so kind of out of place, of like <laughs> needless, you know. Where, but Okuyasu's like they're they're oh they yeah made sense they no made no sense. I know, but like the thing of where he's like this is almost like. Uh, and then he uses some big word. I can't remember what the big word was, or something. You know, <laughs> like he got a new vocabulary. For Okuyasu was... or Dio? Okuyasu. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. No, Dio. It was just you know that's a part of his brand. Oh yeah, but... absolutely. <laughs> it doesn't his, make it his, any less. You mean his brando? <laughs> yeah. He... <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay, wow. I walked this, right into you that. You really one. did. I walked right <laughs> into that one. So, so this is just gonna be a stand user that they'll just yeah. you know chat with and stuff. They might have like you know uh, more Italian food in like twelve episodes or so. Yep, that's awesome. Another landmark. Let's add more landmarks. Let's add more stand users. I want to see him take out an enemy. I, I, I like. Okay, they, cool. they lure the enemy into the restaurant. <laughs> I don't think he would do that because he's wholesome. That's the point. Uh, uh, fair point. But but what I would like to see is now that we have our whole expectations subverted in this episode, we can approach every stand user fresh now. In yeah. some ways, Just we like the shed it off the dead skin. You, you don't of, need to keep reference. <laughs> of basically limiting stand users to the specific formula of a yes. you know an enemy that they would fight and have to you know deal with and stuff yep, they can yep. be anyone literally though i can't close my eyes now without picturing that that cavity in okiyasu's shoulder uh so yeah but <sighs> fresh new new stand users and and different approaches and joseph and all the craziness that can happen right. there and and oh man there's probably going to be high school antics how much you want to bet that there's going to be a point where joseph is basically checking out like the high school girls no no not his style no if anything i think joseph's going to basically like He's going to like set up his fortress, you know, like he's going to like sure. arrive at the boat and he's going to stay in the boat. Like he's just going to be like, I don't really can't travel through water. <laughs> he's more like, no, I have my own place. And now that I'm a multi billionaire, like I just chill and relax and I don't, sure. you know, I don't interact with anybody. He's like, yeah. oh, you want spirit photos? Of course, my young sure. grandson. Absolutely. Get the suitcase with all the cameras. Smash that one. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to Joseph. I want to know how he's going to sound. I want to know how he's going to yes. look. Um, oh, yeah. And then what kind of changes he'll have to his personality. But, yeah, other than that, more JoJo's, y'all. Yeah, this was a great episode. Great episode. Disgusting, <laughs> but great. Confusing, yeah. 
but great. If you want to watch the next episode's reaction right now, go check out the link in the description below for our <laughs> Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length reactions there, and all of this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us about JoJo's or just stories Favorite in general. Foods, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, what kind of, like, back rub massages you like to get, you know, or just whatever. Yeah. Anything that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.